Okay. For some of you people out there in this world, yeah, go Cowboys out here, who has uh, a Ford F-150 3.5 EcoBoost twin turbo engine. For those, if you are having any types of problems with your uh, purge valve, you won't find this video anywhere else on YouTube. Uh, so I did my own research and I went to the dealership and I talked to those guys for like hours. And so we looked it up and like some uh, Ford F-150s have the purge valve. It's like a small purge valve, but others have, let me find it. Like mine, which is a 2015 uh, purge valve. This will be the purge valve that you need for your 2015 F-150. And it looks like this. It's about 109 bucks at the Ford place. You can't even find this at uh, AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts because they don't sell it because it's a dealer item. And uh, so this is what I did. Because when I took my truck to the dealership, they want to charge me $802 to fix it. Here's a video, I mean, a picture of my truck. It's the Lariat with the 3.5 uh, EcoBoost. So, that cover right there was the cover that, that was on top of the motor, which of course you have to take off the. Uh, oil cap then you replace the oil cap so that you don't get any type of debris in it so right here is the purge valve so you just pop off this clip right here this green clip right there down there they all just pop off and you pop off this white clip right here because this piece right here doesn't come with a hose because this hose right here is connected down there and this hose right here goes to the side of this uh, throttle body intake. Yeah, so if you have the 3.5 twin turbo, you got to make sure you tell a dealership or uh, AutoZone or Advanced Auto Part that you have the twin turbo, that you have the turbo. <coughs> because the valve, because the purge, valve or purge valves are different. So... This is the purge valve. This is the new one. I already replaced it. I, I, it kind of like clicked last minute to uh, get this on. So I'm also replacing my throttle body because apparently what I was what was happening, my truck was stall out. So I uh, get a code like nine one one two code, which tells me that the throttle body was sticking closed. So therefore, I have to like pull over on the side of the road to uh, turn off the truck, start the truck back up. And this is how, this is one of the uh, causes of it. This is like clogged up, whatnot, it's not opening. So it sticks, then the throttle body sticks. So um, whenever you get ready to replace the throttle body, you have to, in order like, you have to calibrate it. So you want to take out the negative and you want to take a jumper cable Put it on here on the on the hot, then run it across this negative right here to like erase all the codes. So therefore, whenever you get ready to calibrate your uh, throttle body, uh, it'll calibrate. But whenever you do get ready to calibrate it and got everything hooked back up, whatnot, you have to let the motor run for ten to fifteen minutes. So therefore, like the the uh, ECM can read the uh, calibration. As at a uh, idle, so once you get that done, you're gonna um, drive it at like normal speed down the highway, or whatnot, and so therefore the shift points can read your new throttle body. So that that's a that's how you uh, calibrate your new throttle body once you get it put back on. So uh, purge valve. Throttle body. New throttle body. I'm going to get that on here soon. 
I'm gonna do another video to let you know how it shifts once I get everything up and going. Peace. I hope this helps somebody out.